Hey guys, it's Corinne with Thompson RV in Pendleton, Oregon. Today I am here to show you the brand new 2024 Blackstone 260 KRS model. So we brought out the prototype video about a year ago. This is the official, official model. So they have brought out a shorter unit with the east west bed so we have been asked a million times when can we get more trailers with the bed that actually slides out so this is going to be the shortest trailer you can get with the bed slide out so i love what they've done with this floor plan it's basically like a backcountry 24 krs in this half of the trailer in the living half of the trailer and then the bedroom is going to be the bedroom like in a 280 kvs model so it comes in at 32 foot 4 inches so that's a really manageable size but you feel like you're in a much bigger trailer and it's a brand new 2024 so it is going to have the new linen wallboard the new 12 volt fridge the upgraded solar the upgraded suspension and the underslung coupler this particular model is a titanium series, which as you know, at Thompson RV, we do almost all titaniums. So I will link the video down below. So if you are new here to our channel and you're not completely 100% sure on what a titanium is versus a mountain, you've got the mountain series and then you've got the upgraded titanium. I have a full video that's gonna show you all of the upgrades that you're gonna get on a titanium series over a mountain, but I will name a few as we go through this video. So this is a two door model in the rear door. You're going to walk in and you're going to walk right into a nice rear kitchen. You've got the new Furion 12 volt refrigerator. So this is a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. It's in the same square footage space that they used to put in the eight cubic foot, but because it's a 12 volt fridge, they actually are deeper. So you get 10 cubic feet. It's got a nice big pot and pan drawer right below the fridge here. Because it's a titanium, you're going to get stainless steel appliances. You're going to get the nice stainless uh, stove with oven. And the oven has the electronic ignition, so you don't have to get down there and bend down with a lighter to light the oven pilot. As with all outdoors RVs, you're going to get the nice glass top on the stove. And you just fold that back. So when you're not cooking, you can use it as counter space. But when you're cooking, you just flip it up. And then you have a nice three burner gas range. Right behind the stove, they give you a nice little knife rack. That's just wasted space typically, so they actually make some little slots in wood and actually create a knife rack because where the heck are you gonna put a knife block, right? So they give you that right back there. You've got 110 plugins over here and over here. Nice under cabinet lighting. Two windows, which is kind of cool. Adds in some extra daylight. A nice huge cabinet up top. Another cabinet over here, a bank of three drawers, and then also a little additional storage underneath the sink. Speaking of the sink, you get a nice single basin farm style sink with covers. So that adds extra counter space when not in use. They also put in the nice wire rack to protect the sink. Because it's a titanium, you get the nice high arc with the pull out faucet. Moving over here, you get Outdoors RV's Mountain Dinette with a bank of two drawers underneath each side. So these are nice deep drawers and they do have a lock on each one. There's a little additional space at the end of each drawer so you can take the cushions off. I think I show it in another video where you can take off the cushions and get to that uh, storage space as well. So there is a little bit of additional storage. This makes into a nice uh, long bed so it's about seven feet long so that's a nice option if you do need to sleep additional people because it's a titanium you are going to get the blackout shades in fact actually they're coming in the mountain series now as well um, so that used to be just a titanium feature they've actually gone away from the lambrequins on each side and so they are coming in all of the models now in the titanium you will get the wood treatment around the slide out as well as the windows and then over here, you've got the theater seating. 
Now, in this particular model, you could do the sleeper sofa. So if you have kids or adults that you need to sleep extra, you can do the theater seating here or you can do the sleeper sofa. You could even fit two chairs. Um, typically, people prefer the theater seating. It is the most comfortable. But if you do need to sleep somebody, the sleeper sofa is a great option as well. Right here is where they've hidden all of your controls. This is especially nice if you do have grandkids or kids that are going to try and touch all the buttons. So rather than being down low where they can push everything, you've got it right up here. So as you can see, your gas water heater, your 110 water heater, uh, the water pump. You also have an additional water pump switch in the bathroom. So if you forget to hit this water pump switch, maybe you go in the front door to use the restroom while traveling down the road. There's a water pump switch in there so you can use that to turn on the water to use the toilet. Um, we always option in the 12 volt fresh water tank heater. So if you're traveling in really cold temperatures, you can kick on this 12 volt heat pad and that's going to heat the fresh water tank. And then your slide out controls, your awning controls. And then also this is where you would check the levels on like your gray tank, black tank, fresh water batteries, etc. Now, if you go with lithium batteries, that wouldn't work properly with a lithium battery because it's always going to show you full. So all of the people, pretty much everybody that's buying a 2024 model, because of the 12 volt fridge, if you plan on boondocking at all, you're going to need to go with lithium batteries. So at that point, typically people are going to go with the max, which is three lithium batteries on the front of the tongue. They're going to go with our powder coated aluminum locking box, which I'll show you on the outside, and then a Victron smart shunt. So the smart shunt will actually Bluetooth to your phone and give you a real time as far as how, like what levels your batteries are at. So it makes that little button in here for your battery level obsolete, but that's what almost everybody's doing now. It's going to be the Victron smart shunt. Because it's a titanium too, one other thing is you don't have to necessarily get in here and do the awning or the slide out with these switches because you have a remote. So you just turn this on and you can be outside and run your remote or be outside and running your slide outs. When that's handy is let's say you pull into a space and you know maybe you have your water hookup and maybe you have a power pedestal and you're not quite sure if it's gonna clear and you don't wanna have to be in here pushing the slide out button and running outside and checking to see if you're clearing. You can just take your little remote outside, run the slide out while you watch and make sure that it's clearing everything properly. And if not, then you can just adjust your trailer a little. So coming around over here, oh, extra storage above too. So you have a lot of cabinets up above here. You do have the WineGuard 360 Plus TV antenna, and that comes pre-wired for the WineGuard gateway router. So if you want to get internet while you're traveling, that's a good option. Digital thermostat is a titanium feature. This is going to be a nice little pantry. You could use it for food. You could also use it for clothing. Often I will end up folding towels, clothes, things of that nature and putting them in here. And then one thing I love about this floor plan as well as the KRS backcountry, I love how, unlike the RKS Timber Ridge, I love how they extended the slide out a little bit and put the TV at an angle. So this is going to be a much better viewing than it is if the TV was here facing forward. So it just faces the theater seating a lot better and it does operate on a swivel. So you can even swivel it out a little bit more if you'd like. But what's neat is that somebody can still be sitting in this dinette. Somebody can be sitting over here and everybody can see the TV. And then extra counter space right here. This is a great little charging station because you've got your uh, USB ports right here and then your 12 volt outlet right here. So this is nice to have a counter space where you can charge tablets, phones, whatever. You've also got your um, CD DVD player right here. I just used this trailer not that long ago and there was no DVD player. And for the life of me, I packed DVDs, of course, and we could not get the TV to work. This is a really nice system because it has an HDMI in, it has a USB in, plus it does have an old school DVD player. So you can pretty much operate however you want to watch TV. If you're more techie than me and you don't pack DVDs, you can operate pretty much any system off of this. And so that's nice because no matter where you are, you do have a way to watch a little television. Um, and then this is a 12 volt TV, so it will operate not like you don't have to be plugged in. So it's running off of battery power. 
And then what else I love about this new floor plan is the extra storage underneath the TV. So, I mean, that is huge. So whether you want to pack more dry goods or maybe you want to pack a ton of board games or extra linens for these beds, whatever, there's a lot of storage in this unit. So the bathroom in this model has a Jack and Jill style door. So you can come in from this way and keep this door closed or vice versa. Again, unlike the 24 RKS in the Timber Ridge, where it has the smaller bathroom off to the side and the sink that's out, this is a nice, uh, what they call a side aisle bath. So it's all enclosed in one area. Nice porcelain toilet, heat duct in the bathroom, as well as an air conditioning duct. You, we option in the max air fans on all of our units, so you're going to get an additional one in the bathroom. You get towel hooks behind the toilet. You get a nice storage area underneath the sink, another USB port, 110 outlet. Because it's a titanium, it does come with the titanium vanity mirror, a solid hardwood medicine cabinet. Because it's a titanium, you get the solid surface countertops with the underslung stainless steel sink. And then the nice big glass shower. And it does have a little bench inside. So that's a nice feature. And then you get upgraded hardware in the titanium as well. Then moving into the bedroom, this is kind of the, the best part about this whole floor plan. Because the bed slides out, you can easily walk around it. So, you know, with the most with most outdoors RVs, the bed is going to run north-south, right? And because your nightstands are your front compartments, they're very long. Not that that's a bad thing. It gives you a lot of exterior storage. But sometimes people have a hard time making the bed or getting in and out of the bed because the nightstands are so long. So on this particular model, you have a much shorter nightstand, smaller nightstand, which could be good or bad, but it gives you a little bit more access to the bed and it makes it a little easier to make as well as walk around it. But then you do have on each side of the bed a 110 outlet, a 12 volt outlet, a USB port, and then you do have a little light on each side and three windows. Outdoors RV does not scrimp on windows. That is one thing. They want a lot of natural light and I love how many windows they use. They also have a skylight in the hallway which really brightens up uh, the trailer and then really that new wallboard, the linen colored wallboard really makes this bright and airy. And then moving on to the closet. So because the bed is going east-west, you get the whole front closet here. Tons of storage for shoes, hiking boots, whatever. If you've got a hunter in the family, we all know that they have to have all their cool gear. So there's a lot of storage in these closets. You've got a lot of hanging area, plus the stuff you can stuff kind of behind what you've hung. And then also storage down below, as well as another light switch. And then on each side, you're gonna have two drawers and more storage. So you can really fill this trailer up. Another huge window and the little footstool. Extra storage as well as a place to sit down and put on your shoes. Again, we option all of ours, ours in with the max air fan. So you're gonna get a nice max air fan above the bed as well. And then because it's a Blackstone, um, you can order Blackstones with or without 50 amp service, but the 280 KVS and the 260 KRS, this model, are gonna come pre-wired with 50 amp service so you can add a second bedroom air conditioner. So a lot of our people that are in the Southern states, they do like to add the second bedroom air. So you just need to know that on a Blackstone, you do have to pre-order it that way from the factory, or like I said, 280 KVS, 260 KRS will come standard with it as well as the Glacier Peak models. So over here, again, Another cool feature of having the bed go that way is that you've got the optional fireplace, an extra whole cabinet here with extra storage, an additional DVD player. These are also all Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth your phone and play it through the speakers. Uh, the one in the living room is going to play to the speakers on the exterior of the trailer as well. Another 12-volt TV, and then a little additional storage up here. 
And then if you are one of the people that likes to pack around a satellite, you actually do have a space here for a Wally. Um, often there's nowhere to put the Wally. So it's kind of nice to at least have a shelf there to be able to add that. So let's pop the slide outs in and I'll show you what it looks like and how to access the bathroom with the slide outs in and then we'll run through the outside. So with the slide out in, as you can see, you can access the entire kitchen. You can sit in the theater seating, access the cabinets up above here as well as the pantry. You can also access the, the little cupboard up underneath the TV, but you cannot access the bathroom or the bedroom from this particular door. So you would have to go in through the bedroom door in order to use the restroom. Because Outdoors RV builds a nice quality slide with an insulated floor, what that looks like when it comes in though is it comes up at an angle. So as you probably can't see it in this video, but the, the slide out is actually off of the floor a little bit. So we don't recommend that you use the dinette or anything in the slide putting weight on that because over time it could break down the slide out floor. Now when it goes back out and it's seated, then it's a nice solid floor. But because of that insulated floor, it does come up at an angle. So we just don't recommend that you step on the slide out or use the dinette. You would just want to pop the slide out out at a nice rest area. You should be able to just run that out if you want to sit at the dinette during lunch and have a break. Same with the bedroom slide out. You could lay down and take a nap, but we would recommend that you would just run it out. It's not that deep of a slide out, especially in the bedroom. And then here in the bedroom, as you can see, this is the door you would use if you needed to access the bathroom while traveling down the road. So here on the outside, again, it's a double door model. So you're gonna get an entry door into the bedroom area as well as an entry door into the main living area. So as I showed you with the slide outs in, if you need to use the restroom while traveling, you're just gonna open up the front door, pop into the bathroom, and then come back out this way. If you do need to stop and get a water or make a sandwich, you can then use the rear entry door. So probably the coolest thing about the Titanium series, and I think I often talk about this, but I feel like it needs to be said again, is the auto leveling system. So when you buy a Titanium series, it doesn't just come with crank down jacks or power stabilizer jacks. It comes with a full blown auto leveling system, just like you would see on a $250,000 motorhome, right? So you push a button and the entire trailer auto levels itself. That was what sold me on a titanium back when they first came out. And I have never gone away from it because it's my absolute favorite feature. I was super happy a handful of years ago when they brought it out on the travel trailers because for the longest time you had to go fifth wheel if you wanted to get the auto leveling system. So that's my favorite feature about the titanium. One thing I didn't mention is the upgraded mattress. I absolutely love the titanium mattress. They also use the Lamalux 4000 high gloss fiberglass exterior. So you'll notice that the color is gray versus the white of the mountain series. This is also a shinier, higher grade of fiberglass. So it's gonna stay shinier longer, especially if you live in an area like we do with a lot of full sun. So this is gonna stay a lot nicer, even if you don't cover it or don't take care of it. Of course, if you cover it, keep it inside or wash and wax it on, on occasion, it's gonna stay looking nice for a lot longer than just a standard fiberglass. Another titanium feature is gonna be the frameless dual pane windows. You also get chrome locks, chrome handles. You always get the nice triple aluminum step. Right here, this is actually gonna be where you fill your 80 gallon fresh water tank. The power awning that you can run off of the remote or the switch that I showed you inside is also gonna have the AlumaGuard wrap. The exterior speakers that you can Bluetooth your phone to the inside or you can play a CD. Those will link out to the outside speakers as well. And then something that Outdoors RV does differently than almost everybody else out there is their Off-Road X4 suspension package. And new for 2024, They've gone from the More Ride CRE 3000 suspension with three inches of travel. They've gone up to the Alltrek 4000 More Ride suspension, so you get an additional inch of travel. You also get heavy duty shackles with greasable zerts and the KYB off road shocks. Often people say, Well, I'm never going to be taking my trailer off road. 
right, but you're still going to travel down the road. And let's be real, I mean, not all of the freeways are really that nice. If you hit a pothole, you're definitely going to want that upgraded suspension. Nobody in their right mind would go out and buy a car today that did not have any suspension, yet most travel trailers out there have none. So this is going to help your travel going down the road. And those KYB off-road shocks, those actually help with body roll. So that's something that's also going to help in windy situations or when you get passed by a semi. So that is something that you want on and off-road. So even though they call it an off-road suspension package, honestly, it's just a really epic suspension package that everybody should be putting on their trailers. Load Range E, Goodyear Endurance Tires. You get 110 outlets right under your awning here. This is going to be your fire pit barbecue hookup. So you've got a nice little hatch so that you can reach in here and attach a quick disconnect LP hookup and run either a fire pit or a Blackstone, any kind of a barbecue, whatever you need. Another feature of the titanium that's kind of cool is that you get the elongated door window. Again, it's frameless to match the rest of the windows, but I like the fact that it's elongated. And then on the inside, you actually have another blackout shade. So if you're in the bedroom, often there's no shade on the door, but in the titanium, there is. So you have a nice blackout shade. Coming up to the front here, you get nice slam latch luggage doors with two catches, not just one, a nice magnetic catch. So you don't even have to worry about flipping, you know, the little catch to hold this door up. It's just already there. You get rubberized suspension here, rubber, excuse me, rubberized diamond plate flooring here in the front compartment so that when you throw in maybe your hitch arms or whatever, you're not going to scratch the floor. It's nice and industrial. All of this is carpeted and also insulated. So remember, often, not in this particular model, but this would be where your bed would be. So you definitely want this insulated. There's a nice light inside there, as well as a 12 volt port, a USB port. The charge controller for your solar. Auto leveling controls. There's gonna be auto leveling controls in here as well as inside. And then a battery kill switch. So if you do want to kill all the power to the battery so there's no draw, you can do that right there. Again, slam latch. So you just slam them and they shut and they latch. And they have two latches, not just one. Right here, this is gonna be an additional solar port for up to 200 watts. That's gonna be different than the solar that is on the roof. So the one that you wanna have here, you do want it to have a built-in charge controller because it's not gonna be running through the charge controller right in here. So this particular unit is equipped with 400 watts of solar. You can do 600 watts, or from the factory, you can option in 1,000 watts of solar. So if you plan on boondocking a lot, or maybe you plan on eventually doing a lithium inverter setup of some sort, you can actually order 1,000 watts from the factory now. So that's pretty cool. By the way, here we are stocking almost all of our units with the 600 watts of solar. We've kind of found for most people, three lithium batteries, 600 watts of solar is going to allow you to boondock. Uh, for with that 12 volt fridge. So that's going to allow you to boondock and be pretty comfortable. Um, if you do want to go with a bigger system, again, you can order in the thousand watts of solar and eventually a person could upgrade and do more batteries or something of that nature. That's where MYT Solar comes in handy. So they do all of our big inverter installs. So we have a video, I will link it down below. So if you are planning on living off grid or doing a lot of off grid, that might be an option for you and you can contact them and they set it up to where they come here and do your whole system for you. Titanium comes with a backup camera. They also are now coming with the side marker cameras. So I shouldn't call it a backup camera. It's a rear observation camera. So you can use it while traveling down the road if you're in traffic. So that's when the side marker cameras come in really handy. Changing lanes, going down the freeway, something of that nature. You get the nice wrap around front cap because the Blackstone is built on the custom eight inch chassis. So you will get the full fiberglass front cap. This is not plastic. It's a full actual fiberglass. So it's a lot better quality than almost anything out there. You also get the uh, guard here on the front. So that's going to be kind of like a rhino lining. So that's going to protect against rock chips. Here at Thompson RV, we option in the mountain storage package. What that is, is a rear receiver hitch on the back, so a two-inch receiver that'll hold up to 250 pounds of weight. And then also, 
the toy lock on the front. So let's say you hauled e-bikes to your campsite on the hitch. When you get here, you want to have them out front, but you want to leave your campsite, but you don't want anybody stealing them. That's why this comes with the lock. So whatever you hitch hauled in, then you can lock up. So it's called the mountain storage system. We do it on everything. We also option all of our units in with the four battery tray. So just to be clear, that's not the box and it's not the batteries from the factory. It's just the tray that allows us to then put on the box and put in the batteries. They do call it a four battery tray. When you go into lithiums though, you really can only fit three in this space. This powder coated aluminum locking box that is strictly through Thompson RV. We have that custom built here in town uh, by a family friend of ours. So that is something that is custom to us. Two seven and a half gallon propane tanks with an auto changeover regulator. The new underslung coupler. So they were having, I wouldn't say issues, but some trucks, if you had the coupler too high, especially with the new suspension and an additional inch, the coupler was getting so high that some people couldn't get their tailgates down and get into the back of their truck when hooked up. So they've done the new underslung coupler to mitigate that problem does come with the power tongue jack that's all part of the auto leveling system it is completely normal as you can see the jack is not touching the ground that's completely normal i've had people comment that they've gotten stopped in the in the trailer park and somebody said your jack is touching the ground that's completely normal that is part of the for the auto leveling system and that is what it's supposed to do Another cool feature about the auto leveling system is you can hit hitch height when you're done. and It'll actually go back to the height that you unhooked at. So you don't have to sit there and figure out where your truck and trailer, where your trailer needs to be to hook up. It'll do it automatically for you. And then the little caddy right here, this will hold your safety chains, your seven way plug and your breakaway cable up off the ground. On this side, you've got another access to your outside storage compartment side marker camera and because it has the east west bed you're going to get another storage area right here underneath the bed and because outdoors rv doesn't scrimp on anything they've also given you the rubberized diamond plate right here on this floor to keep that protected as well titanium feature the slide out toppers come standard you can now order them on the backcountry uh, and as well as the mountain series. So you can order them from the factory, but on the titanium there, it's all included. Right here, you have a nice little light. If you need to dump your tanks at night and need to see what you're doing, you've got access to your gray and black valves and then also your black tank Santa flush. So when you're done emptying the black tank, you hook up a hose to that Santa flush and it's going to rinse out that tank. So you're going to run that for a handful of minutes with the valve open and it's going to clean out that tank so that you don't ever have to worry about getting, you know, a stinky tank because it cleans it out until the water comes out all the way clear. So that's a nice feature to have because it's a rear kitchen. You have an additional gray water tank here. So you've got a 40 gallon gray and a 40 gallon gray. So a total of 80 gallons of gray uh, holding capacity. This is your city water connection. So that's where you would hook up if you were in a park and just didn't want to run through the tank and the, the water pump, you would just hook directly up to city water. Outside shower, and they give you a nice insulated door. So it's not that thin plastic flimsy one. 10 gallon rapid recovery gas and electric water heater. And then coming around, you've got the nice big heavy duty four inch steel bumper. This is what I was talking about when I was talking about the mountain storage system. So you've got the two inch receiver hitch. And so that will hold up to 250 pounds. So a lot of people do e-bikes, um, a generator, something of that nature right here on the back. Titanium feature, you get backup lights as well as the rear observation camera. Your power hookup is right here, as well as your satellite and cable hookup. Nice heavy duty ladder. And then you get the nice big 35,000 BTU furnace. One thing that I feel like needs to be mentioned, I was following a trailer down the road the other day and all it had in the back was just this little vent. So what that tells me is that there's no access to the furnace. So if something ever were to go wrong, you're going to have to dismantle whatever's on the inside in order to pull the furnace out to work on it. 
it's not very common to ever have to work on the furnaces, but if you need to, four screws and your furnace comes out. So again, that's something that they don't scrimp on giving you this little cover, and that gives you a lot better access to your furnace if you ever need it. A full-size spare tire, and it's also the Goodyear Load Range E Endurance Tire, so they didn't scrimp on that as well. And then, as always, when you become part of the Thompson RV family, people will recognize that you bought it here. And so that's kind of cool because people see each other. It's the craziest. I love getting those stories where I hear about somebody in New York that saw one of our trailers or Florida, Alaska. So it's kind of cool when you become a part of the family that you get that tire cover because then everybody knows that where you bought it. So thank you so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, we've got the number listed down below. I've linked a few videos to in, in down below this video as well so that if you have questions on the titanium or you want to talk with MYT Solar or something, we've got all those videos down below. Everybody here at Thompson RV owns Outdoors RV trailers and uses them. So everybody here is going to be very knowledgeable. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thanks. Thank you.